Shalom from Jerusalem. This is Uriel, Independent News, Jerusalem, Israel. Sir, what do you think about Syria and the so-called chemical weapons that they have taken out of storage? Um, I don't really know if they exist or not, but um, I don't think they will use it against Israel. I think I, I would think that maybe Assad will use it against his own people, as he's doing right now. Without chemical weapons, he's, he's succeeding in killing his own people. I think. The UN should uh, involve, get involved there. Now, yesterday, uh, Benny Gantz, the IDF general, uh, said that, that they're watching the situation closely just in case they might uh, try and attack Israel. Uh, do you think that Israel should be ready for any uh, so-called threat from Syria? I think Israel should be ready uh, for any so-called threat. Um, it's, after all, it's our, it's our, um, it's our uh, safe, um, our safety and our uh, well-being. Now, we understand that Iran is behind uh, supplying Syria with uh, these uh, uh, weapons uh, throughout the Middle East. Do you think that uh, uh, Iran should be stopped uh, at the same time? Um, well, I think that having, having, uh, having religious, fundamentalist religious um, dictatorship in the Middle East is something that we all should be scared of, and especially if they're trying to get mass destruction weapons. Do you think once uh, that uh, the uh, uh, Assad regime falls, uh, who, who do you think will take power? The Muslim Brotherhood? As we can see in Libya and and Egypt, I would assume, yeah, I would assume that I, I would assume that it's not going to a democracy or a, or a human rights place. It's just going to. Um, uh, it's, it's just going to more more fundamentalist, more uh, religious. Uh, uh, how do you say, govern, governments as as the Muslim Brotherhood? Now, you as a Jew, do you really want peace? Yeah, sure, but I'm not sure that you can do peace with fundamentalists. That's that's the main problem. I now, Morsi is the so-called leader of the uh, Muslim Brotherhood. Uh, Libya, we know that uh, the Muslim Brotherhood has taken over, and so uh, other parts of the Middle East. Do you think, and this is the final question, that in Syria the Muslim Brotherhood will take over? Um, I would think so. I, I'm, I'm, I couldn't tell. You know, it, it could be something else. I, I, I would hope so that it would be it would be a democratic government that taking care of. Uh, without fighting between the Suns and the uh, Shia. Shia, yeah, between the Suns and the Shia, as we can see now. But I, I, as the history told, uh, as we can see uh, in the in, our, in, in the, in the area history and the past history, as uh, we can see in Egypt, that's not. Uh, I don't think it's uh, it's what will happen. This is Uriel, Independent News, Jerusalem, Israel. Shalom.